Good day and welcome to another installment of the Healthy Baby, Healthy Mother series. My name is Dr. Katherine Eagle and I am one of the high-risk doctors here at Jamaica Hospital Medical Center. The postpartum period, the weeks after giving birth, is now being called the fourth trimester of pregnancy. Post-delivery is just as important for mom and baby's health as the first tri trimesters of pregnancy. Moms should have contact with their health care team within three weeks of delivery. They should have an in-person postpartum visit no later than 12 weeks after delivery. This is an important time to focus on mom and make sure that she is healthy, physically, emotionally, and mentally, and has the support she needs to care not only for the newborn, but for herself. Physical recovery from vaginal or cesarean birth, such as making sure vaginal tears and abdominal stitches are healing well, is only one part of good post-delivery care. It's also important to check how baby is doing. If baby is breastfeeding, we need to ensure that you aren't in pain during feedings and that baby is gaining weight. The first few weeks after birth can be extremely tiring and all moms are sleep deprived. It's common to feel a bit sad the first few weeks after birth. Up to 80% of moms experience baby blues. Your hormones are shifting, you're tired, you had a life-changing uh, birth experience and are caring for a newborn. If it persists past two weeks, the feelings are overwhelming or you worry that life would be better or easier without you, then that is the time to get immediate help for postpartum depression. Healthy eating is important. Physical activity is also very important, but it's always important to check with your OB provider about how much and when. Resuming sexual activity should be a personal decision. In most cases, it's physically safe at six to eight weeks after delivery if everything is well healed. Good postpartum care should set you up for good lifelong health and overall well-being. Seek immediate medical attention if you have fever or chills, heavy bright red vaginal bleeding, dizziness, shortness of breath or chest pain, severe headache, swelling of legs and feet, overwhelming sadness, hopelessness, or thoughts of death or suicide, or of hurting yourself or the baby. Education, support, and empowering the patient that she is the one in control of her health and body, and to ask questions and advocate for the care she needs is our goal here at Jamaica Hospital.